In this episode, we are going to analyze Ghazal number 69 from Rumi's Divan Shams Tabrizi. Ger az naz u guyad boro az man che mi khahi? Ze sodaye to mi tarsam ke peyvandat be man soda baram tiq u kafam pishash. Che qurbani ne ham gardan ke az man dard sar dari mara gardan bezan amdam. تو می دانی که من بی تو نخواهم زندگانی را مرا مردم به از هجران به از دان کخلج الموتا Here Rumi is getting very dramatic He says If my beloved tells me go away Because I'm afraid that your love madness comes to me If my beloved is intimidated by the love madness that I have experienced I would take a shroud and a sword with me Going in front of him saying Look, either end my life or forgive me This poem is one of my absolute favorites. Here Rumi is haunted by divine love and suffering because of the separation from the divine beloved. Rumi asks him either to end his life or grant this union and this separation. چه باشد گر نگارینم بگیرد دست من فردا ز روزن سر در آویزد چو قرص ماه خوش سیما What would happen if my beloved took my hand and ended the separation. I wish he appeared from the heavens like a luminous, beautiful full moon. In Rumi's metaphysics, humans were in the presence of God before. They were in unity and they were enjoying this uninterrupted vision and uninterrupted beauty. But in creation, they were separated. Kron says that before creation, all human beings testified the existence of God. But they were made to forget to be tested here. So those who are in this theater play, if I may call it, are unaware of the separation. They are so absorbed into the mundane life that, that they don't remember and realize the burden of suffering. But Rumi, like any mystic who has uncovered the, the veils of darkness and the veils of light and have realized that this life is like a prison for them. This life is limited. They are seeking the spiritual truth. They are seeking, seeking spiritual elevation. They know that there is a spiritual realm. More importantly, they know that they were in union with the Divine Beloved. But they are caged in this world like a bird. And they are doing everything in their power to get back to their fatherland, if I use Platinian terminology. Because of the separation, Rumi is so disturbed that he, he, he sits there and fantasizes what will happen if this beloved comes back to me. He takes my hand and shows himself. He manifests himself. What will happen if he unchain the hands and feet of my soul? My soul is prisoned here. I don't belong here. What would happen if he sets me free from this prison? If the Divine Beloved appears, I would tell him that you are the life of my soul. My soul is dead without you. I do not enjoy any joy in this world without you. No joy in this world makes me happy and no wine in this world makes me intoxicated. My only joy is you and my only intoxication, my only wine is your love. It is only your love that's intoxicating me, making me selfless. Let's not mistake this drunkenness for Rumi and as is the case with um, Islamic mystics and mystics from other tradition. Uh, the divine love is the motivating factor. It's what propels the seeker in this spiritual journey. The device's heart, the tool is heart in the Islamic metaphysics and Sufism. But the divine love is the fire, it is the fuel. It's what makes, sets you in motion. But it gets to a level that gets so powerful that makes you unaware of your individual existence. You lose your individuality. You go up and up in the spiritual stages, reaching union with the divine, where you are unaware of your individuality. This state is called selflessness. The wines of this world would not make me intoxicated. It's only you, it's only your love that makes me drunk. Ger az naz u guyad boro, az man che mi khahi? Ze sodaye to mi tarsam ke peyvandat be man soda o baram tiq u kafam pishash. Cho qurbani ne ham gardan ke az man dard sar dari mara gardan bezan amdam. To mi dani ke man bi to nakhaham zendegani ra. Mara mordam be az hijran. 
Beyazdan kaklajil mauta. Here Rumi is getting very dramatic. He says, if my beloved tells me, go away, because I'm afraid that your love madness comes to me. If my beloved is intimidated by the love madness that I have experienced, I would take a shroud and a sword with me, going in front of him, saying, look, either end my life or forgive me. If I have done something wrong, and if the separation is the result of that wrongdoing, either forgive me or end my life because my life has no meaning without you. So me dani kemen bito nakhaw ham zindagani. You know that without you, I wouldn't want to live. Life has no meaning without you. Without you, I am dead. I find life in you, and I find life with you. Why does Rumi talk about the shroud and sword? He is referring to something ancient. In the ancient times when a servant did something wrong in relation to the king and they were charged guilty, they would take a shroud and a sword. They'd go to the king saying, I'm guilty as charged, but I'm your servant. Either end my life, which is represented by the shroud and the sword in Rumi's poem, indicating that he's ready to sacrifice himself for this immense love, this powerful love, either end my life or forgive me. So the king would either forgive or kill the servant. And Rumi is playing the same card here. مرا باور نمی آمد که از بنده تو برگردی. همین گفتم عراجیف از تو بختان گفته یه ادا. I didn't believe that one day you would turn your face away from me. I heard some rumors that you're going to do that, but I always thought that these are nothing but empty words, empty claims. توی جان من و بی تو ندانم زیست من باری. توی چشم من و بی تو ندارم دیده بینا. You are my soul, and without a soul I have no life. I am but a corpse. You are my eyes, you are my sight. Without you, I don't see anything. The Divine Beloved plays such a central an immense role in Rumi's life that without him, his life loses meaning. His life is so healed with the Divine Beloved that he wouldn't want to live a single second in this separation. And this is a magnificent poem showing the depth of his despair, of this suffering and his pain and the fire he's experiencing every single day that he's away from Beloved. He wants to escape this cage. He wants his soul to soar towards the Divine Beloved. I'm not from here. I do not belong here. I want to go back. Why are you Why are you keeping me here? In many other poems, he's complaining. Why do you keep me away? I want, I want to come to you. Make it happen. And if this is going to happen with my life ending, sure, I'm ready for that sacrifice. I'm ready to sacrifice myself. His pain gets so immense that he cannot put it into words. رحا کن این سخنها را بزن مطرب به کی پرده و با با دفت به پیش آور اگر نبود تو را سرنا. He says, look, put away the words. They don't have the capacity to express my longing and my fire. Play the music. Let's start the sama. Sama is the iconic whirling dance uh, most famously known with Rumi. And here, the emotions are going to get heightened and the atmosphere will be healed with the divine to a degree that, that even momentarily, my soul will start soaring and getting at least a temporary union with the Divine Beloved. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, this is one of my absolute favorites in the entire Divan Hashem Tabrizi. Here he speaks about maddening love. And we see the traces of this in ancient Greek thought as well. Uh, this, this love is the reminiscent of what uh, Plato discusses in his dialogues in Phaedrus. He talks about God sent love madness. It makes you a stranger to the trivialities of this life. Realizing that there are higher realms, there are spiritual truths, spiritual realities, much more valuable and higher than what we are experiencing in, 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 in this material world. And more importantly, there is the Divine Beloved, who is the only cure for Rumi's passionate love, the only water that can quench Rumi's thirst, a thirst that has gifted us with words so powerful that they have survived centuries. And after all these centuries, that fire is still alive. It is still burning. The fire is still flaming. And when you read Rumi's poems, you feel the heat of that fire. چه باشد گر نگارینم بگیرد دست من فردا 
ز روزن سر در آویزد چو قرص ماه خوش سیما در آید جان فضای من خوشاید دست و پای من که دستم بست و پایم هم کف هجران پا بر جان به دو گویم بدون تو که بی تو ای حیات جان نه شادم می کند اشرت نه مستم می کند صحبا اگر از ناز او گوید برو از من چه می خواهی؟ ز سودای تو می ترسم که پیوندت به من سودا برم تیغ و کفم پیشش چه قربانی نه هم گردن که از من درد سر داری مرا گردم بزن امدان تو می دانی که من بی تو نخواهم زندگانی را مرا مردم به از هجران به از دان کخلج الموتا مرا باور نمی آمد که از بنده تو برگردی همین گفتم عراجی فست و بحبان گفته ی اعدام تو ای جان من و بی تو ندانم زیست من باری تو ای چشم من و بی تو ندارم دیده بینا رها کن این سخنها را بزن مطرب بکی پرده و با بردف به پیش آور اگر نبود تو را سرنا